Welcome back guys, I'm your host Nukeface and this is the fifth game between IVD's Apocalypse and Mouse Deer in this Republic of Gamers quarter final. In the top left we have spawning IVD's Apocalypse as the red turn and in the bottom right we have Mouse's Deer. <coughs> this is the fifth game, we're up to match point of this best of five series. And let's see who moves on to compete in the semi-finals of the Republic of Games tournament. The nuclear symbols on this map at the gas, both main bases, kind of appropriate. Cash being taken at the start uh, just after the wrecks by Apocalypse, so most likely be going for a Reaper opening. Might repeat what he did last game, which was uh, building a reactor onto the barracks first and make two Reapers simultaneously. Different opening for Deer this game single gas instead of the double gas that he's been doing the past four games. Most likely be looking to expand into the natural fairly quickly. A little scout coming along for Apocalypse to see what Deer's plan is. And first Reaper is ready halfway through production. Orbital Command is about to finish up for Apocalypse. And we have Deer confining himself to his base so far. Zealot about to pop out to ward off this little pesky SCV. Stalker follow up, mothership core being made, so most likely be going for a, a little push with those three units. We have Apocalypse building another engineering bay, as we've seen him do in, I think it was two of the past few games. little reaper kiting the hell out of the zealot just because he can. Mothership core is already moving out and I'm not sure if Deer realized the worker had returned to the engineering bay to continue building that a bit more. Delay the expansion of Deer. <coughs> no expansion as of yet for Apocalypse. Though he might st be starting that soon, judging by the amount of resources that he has. Instead, opting for a bunker. Ship core doing a fair amount of damage and taking a fair amount of damage, but does manage to survive. Not enough units out for Apocalypse on the field yet to push it back. Oh, it just popped out. There we go. If he moves out now, he should be able to push this off. Ship core falls. Zealot will fall, most likely the Stalker will survive by running off. There we go. Natural expansion hasn't has finished for Deer, though he hasn't transferred any probes over yet. There we go, first viewer on the way. 
still is a bit oversaturated in his main base. As you can see by all the little probes moving back and forth to find a sweet spot to mine from. There we go. And now it's Apocalypse's turn to start moving out and put on some pressure of his own. They should be preparing for that, which he is. Dark Shrine almost finished, two additional gateways coming up, also both nearly finished and the robotics bay is being built. Twilight Counter has been built but hasn't been used yet. No blink research for deer. And natural expansion for Apocalypse is almost finished. A few units at the door for deer to contend with. Probes being pulled in to help out. He does give chase to the stalker, which he does get. Takes out as many of them as he can. Before that little push falls. Resources lost is about the same. Workers killed, identical as well. So once all these probes start mining again, there we go. We should see that the income on the mineral side evens out. Deer is mining a lot more gas than Apocalypse. Oh, it's now adding on additional barracks to boost up its production. Weapons upgrade one. It's less than a minute away. We now have DTs being sent out. <coughs> To start dealing with to start to deal some extra damage. Workers are being pulled. Not sure why that one's continuing to make a supply depot. Which just got cancelled. And a little pickup to drop a DT off in the main base. Which if there's no units around, which there's well there's a few. We'll have free reign, but he won't. There we go. Another push moving out with a lot of workers included for Apocalypse. Two DTs in the main base. We actually have the natural being pulled off. DT slicing through this army. workers in there to catch a lot of the hits. It is a very strong push. And again, spawns another DT. Takes out a lot of the workers. Currently, 18 workers killed by deer. And Apocalypse now evening in that out and paying back in kind. Workers killed is about equal, most likely to do with all of this. Uh, all of these Dark Templars still within the main base, which just got cleaned up. War Prism still floating around to see what can happen. Oh, sorry, to see what it can do. They're just confirming now that the Netro hasn't yet been taken again. Puts him in a very strong economic lead. Work account for Apocalypse is only down to 11, 12 workers now. 12 little SCVs, plus of course the two orbital commands that can replenish the SCV counts if he does choose to make SCVs. He does have uh, 300 resources saved up at the moment. Now Colossus has come out, it should be GG fairly soon. There we go. <coughs> Apocalypse calls GG. Deer wins. Deer moves on to the semi-finals of this Asus ROG tournament. Um, and I'll start casting the next quarter-final <coughs> fairly shortly. Sorry for the coughing, guys. Must be getting spring. Um, yeah, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. 
uh, if you'd like me to cast any of your games in the future, send it to send your replays to me at nukefaceReplays at gmail.com. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. <laughs>